Hello and welcome back to The Witcher. So this time we're going to basically have a look around the trade quarter and see well where we want to go uh, once we get rid of that little marker. We're just going to basically have a look around to see if there are any quests that are just kind of lying around, any things that we want to steal. And yeah, just kind of do that until we've cleared out an entirety of the trade quarter, however long that takes. So first things first is the watchtower we were in last episode. Because it had a trunk in it, which of course will take everything from. Uh, city guard, do you want to speak to me? They enlisted our guardhouse. Nope. Okay, let's go upstairs. And here we have the crate, which had ten orange in it. Wow. Uh, you, you don't important? belong here. Nope. None of you are important. Okay. Trunk. Get the uh, alcohol. We're actually full on inventory again. We managed to empty our entire inventory last time, and now we're full again. I guess we have to find a shop first thing. We're in a trade quarter, so hopefully we'll find one soon. Um, order footman, order footman, order footman. Um, oh, Eternal Royal fire, Huntsman. Fill my heart. Oh, hello. Greetings, Witcher. The outskirts cramping you? I was ordered back to Vizima. King Faltest is returning soon. In the meantime, I reward those who tend to public nuisances. Public nuisances? Rewards for monsters. Got anything? Um, any leads? What pays well? A huge wolf has appeared in the swamp, and the locals claim wyverns steal their children. Wyverns don't hunt humans without provocation. Locals, nothing but trouble. They probably tried to drive the wyverns off. Tell me more. Ask. Um, where did you learn about monsters? Where did you learn about monsters? A family heirloom. A book wherein all beasts are described and shown. Know what it says there? What? Each monster embodies a human iniquity. Devourers. Gluttony. Vampires. Drunkenness. What's a giant centipede embody? Uh. Alright, farewell. Farewell. Right, so we got some more leads on what we want to do there. Uh, I would go and break into all the houses, but we have a full inventory, so there's no point. Um, I should we be don't have now. a completely full inventory, because we have an alchemist pouch. Since they let the rabble in. Okay, where do we want to go? Um, I think we want to go over here? Yeah, I think we want to head over this way, towards the blacksmith. Because, one, we want to buy a new sword, and two, like... That's probably where the shops are going to be. So let's just ignore know these people for just now. Never mind. God, people are rude around here, aren't they? Right. Quite the dangerous one, Baron. Along Weapons this way, back. grab the hellebore, and into this Another square. Century. Hello. A good book, perhaps. Okay. Um, tell me why you're here. I thought only wholesalers came to market. Retailers enjoy good business too. Okay. So he has a lot of books that we have already read, but some that we haven't. Okay, interesting. Anyway, we're going to sell our books to him. That's our first step. Sell our book. We get our 10 uh, orange for each of those. Okay. Um, yeah, there are definitely some books we have not yet read. Okay, that we might want to. We'll think about that. Hello, merchant. Geralt of Rivia, I presume. Who wants to know? Who wants to know? I have a message from mutual friends. Don't meddle in affairs that do not concern you. Mm. Okay. Well, I have a message as well. I have a message for these mutual friends. Go on. Um. Let, let's tell them to face us. They should talk to me themselves. Fret not. Your paths will cross. Okay. Put I matters right, Witcher. More. Hello. Finally, someone will appreciate my ways. Uh, what are you selling? What are you peddling? Previously, I dealt in farm tools, but lately, weaponry is more profitable. Okay. Uh, he sells junk. Okay, cool. That's fine, apart from the leather jerkin, which we probably want to buy at some point, but... Again, it's very expensive. 
Um, okay. Booze vendor. Hello. Welcome. Noble beverages and other goods. Alcohol? Any alcohol? Forbidden by royal edict. Uh, okay, so he still sells water. Wow. Shall okay. I you will. Hello. A wink was that? Plow secrecy. All know I sell information. What'll it be? Um, give me some. Once leader of the Order of the White Rose, Jacques de Aldersburg, renamed it the Order That's of the Flaming cool. Rose. Besides King Foltest, his authority is unmatched, and his religious fervor exceeds that of fanatics. We read that in a book already. We don't need you to tell us that. God, I've wasted 25 orans. Okay, um, hello. Exotic goods from Zericania, fragrant with roots. You're not from Zericania. You don't look Zericanian. Do royals sell royal strong ale? Okay, fair enough. Uh, he does sell some books on plants. Okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, we'll just ignore that for just now. Do I know you? Ah, distractions. Of course, get out! Hello. If you're drawn to the secret arts, especially alchemy, you're certain to want my wares. Uh, like potions? Do you make potions? No, I'm a mere merchant. Okay. He also sells books. Okay, and also ingredients. So we're never going no to buy from him. Here, one. I don't Hello. deal in retail. Fair enough. Fair enough. So actually, none of these people were particularly useful. That's that's good to know. So wait, alchemist, alchemist, swordsmith. Wait, did we speak to the blacksmith? It said there was a blacksmith over here, but we quite clearly did not see a blacksmith. Is he the swordsmith? Extortion. Nonsense. We'll have a look. So this is the arms dealer. There's that guy's book seller. God, the game's getting a little bit framey in this area. I'm just going to quick save just to make sure we don't have any crashes. Wow, it is actually like lagging out occasionally. How could I make anyway. coin here? Hello. Greetings. My specialities involve more than common blacksmithery. You're a swordsmith? Someone who understands... Can I help? Um, like my weapon in hand? I'd like my weapon in hand. Fetch me met. What's the con? I dislike taxes and guild payments. Oh, sorry. Thus, I prefer goods in exchange for my services. What do you want? A precious stone suitable for the hilt of a weapon for Count De Wet. Um, I mean, I have stuff oh, like that, but angry. if he's going to upgrade our weapons, we don't want to speak to him right now. I think we want to wait till we have other stuff. Like, we want to wait till we have a weapon we want him to upgrade. So we don't waste our, our stone. Uh, where are we going? There's the Marabar Gates. We probably can't leave out of there. But money. Yeah, it looks shut. Okay. Till um, well, let's start here and let's start work making our way around sensibly. Okay, so. Head this way. There are guardsmen all over the place. That's Till just fine. Tomorrow. No, no shop there. Door. Let's go inside. Gambling den. This was the perfect choice. Hello? Anybody White here? Haired one, I admit I find you. Find me what? Another new face? Regulars must be recommending the place. This business grows more dangerous. I don't plan on rotting in prison. Prison's not bad. You a criminal? This hall exists for decent folk. I fear military lore. Perhaps the penalty for what I'm doing is death. Bribes won't get you by. The soldiers grow more greedy and audacious. Something's afoot. I hope to be away before it occurs. Mm. How can I help? Uh, I'd like to rest till evening because I think this is going to be a gambling place. So I want to play dice poker. Evening. This got this got to be a dice poker den. Okay, let's see who we got here. We got some people. I was right about waiting until evening. Do we have a named gambler? 
Yep. Gambler, 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 gambler. White hair. We do, Coster. I, I find you. Oh my. You stopped again. Okay, I think he's the only one we need to speak to. Hello. Sorry, I don't want to speak to you, but I do actually want to see what's in your wares. No. Hello, Coster. May I ask who referred you? I found this place myself. If you're any good, welcome. If you've a taste for food or drink, ask the bar wench. Who runs this place? Those questions attract the wrong attention. Suffice to know this house is owned by the entrepreneurs who disagree with the limitations of the emergency state. They wish to provide entertainment to the hard-working residents of the city. I get it. Enjoy yourself. Dice? A game of dice? Choose another table if you're not serious. Only large wages at this one. I don't play too well. Go practice elsewhere. So he is our final boss. Interesting. I need to become a professional poker player. No. I need to Impossible. find, you know, someone around here. I need to be the very best. Like no one ever was. Right. Hello. Greetings, noble sir. If you seek a present for a lady, you've come to the right place. What do you have? Pleasing trifles. Lovely souvenirs, luxury items. I supply the upper classes. Beautiful ladies and noble gentlemen. Let's see them. How can I help? Yeah, um, let's uh, see them. So he sells junk. Okay. We can sell our rings to him, which is nice. So we can sell our junk to him. There we go, we'll get rid of that one. I guess we keep the uh, valuable gems now. Okay. Uh, what we do want to do is we do want to wait until it's daytime so that everyone's actually outside again. Those swords just for show. Hello. Hi. Yes, uh, I would like to wait until it is daytime so we can go and speak to everybody outside. That's all right with you. So let's wait till dawn. The dawn will probably do. Most people will be up. Mm. Okay. Right. <sighs> okay. And time to leave the gambling den. Okay, and let's have a look around. Let's see here we got. So we got a fishmonger, probably not the most interesting person in the world, but we'll speak to him. Greetings, perch, flounder, or perhaps a tasty pike. Got any shark? Eh, yeah, not quite. But I'm a fish connoisseur. I know, smoked eel. You'd like that? Please have a look. Gladly. I love the smell of fish. Um. Why is the market empty? Some market stalls stand empty. Yes, many vendors went bankrupt when taxes were increased to support the army. Non-humans moved to the ghetto and other merchants fear bandits and monsters. Okay. So, you don't have much competition? Not much competition for you. Not that anyone could compete with my goods. I've even invested more in the business as I expect better times ahead. Good luck. I love the smell of fish. Okay, so what does he sell? He sells fish. Wow. I mean, he says it right. It, he says he loves the smell of fish. Wait, we're actually full on alchemy ingredients? It's a new low. Okay. Well, we're going to have to actually go and, like, do alchemy. Hello. Right. Uh. Ooh, crate. Um. Let's be picky. Let's not take junk anymore. Like it's not worth the time no to sell to be it. Here, white -haired one. Have you heard Hello? the prices they demand? Uh Who's none of you are this? interesting. Uh, you're not interesting. Uh, we'll take the yeah, we'll take alcohol when we find it. We need what it for conversations, but apart from that, this is not an interesting building. Right. Time to leave here and go to the next building. Right. Okay. Um, so that gate leads where? We don't know. It's locked. Okay, fair enough. Butcher, hello. Greeting, stranger. Oh, be not afraid of Ada. She growls, but she doesn't bite. Usually. <laughs> the dog's name is Ada? She is a bitch. Plus, she's pampered and spoiled. The name of the king's daughter suits her perfectly. Do you know Princess Ada? Well, my wife is a laundress at the palace, so I'm aware of the gossip in court. I'd be happy to listen, if I could look at your goods. Mm, certainly. 
I have the finest quality meat. I slaughter the animals myself. We'll see. Hmm. Um, tell me about the gossip. What does your wife say about the other courtiers? <laughs> it would take weeks to repeat all she said. Foltest, Velerad, Duet, Jacques de Oldersburg, Medigold, who are you interested in? All of them. Tell me about Foltest. Need I tell you all I know? He slept with his own sister and begat Ada. Ill tidings indeed. A curse turned the girl into a striga. A witcher dispelled the curse from the princess, and Foltest was so overjoyed, he spoiled the girl rotten. The little Striga became a childish whore. Interesting. Interesting. Thanks. Mm. Um, so, anything what else? What does your wife say about- <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna have to do this whole thing each time. Okay, Velorad. What's the word on Velorad? Our Burgomaster drinks too much and can no longer manage the city's affairs. No wonder, since to curry favor in the court, it is to be a marionette and jump when the king pipes a tune. <laughs> Look around. Bandits, monsters, and city hall is silent. Velorad should step down. Okay. Interesting. Cool. Mm -hmm. What did right. <laughs> Go through that again. Roderick. What have you heard about Roderick DeWet? Ah, the Nilfgaardian. He sticks to Ada like a burr on a dog's tail, but that threshold's high, even for a count. Moreover, he's a knight of the order, so as someone sworn to celibacy, he can only plough the princess in secret. Duet represents the order in court, but I'd say he represents the empire of Nilfgaard and the imperial ambitions of the Black Ones. Interesting. Interesting. Mm -hmm. What does your... Right, <laughs> um... How about Jax de Aldersburg? What about Jacques de Aldersburg? Grand Master sounds grandiose, doesn't it? Rarely does anyone recall that the Order of the Flaming Rose was once the Order of the White Rose. Now the once proud knights are racists and intriguers, acting under the guise of the highest ideals. Tis the Grand Master's doing. Before his knighthood, Jacques was a vagrant blinded by hatred of elves. One doesn't change so easily. Interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right, next what does your... one. <laughs> uh, Triss. Any gossip about Triss Marigold? Certainly. The women at the palace laundry love to gossip about other women. Well, they have the same opinion as any with common sense. A sorcerer's place is in the tower, brewing potions and devising horoscopes from stars rather than meddling in politics. Furthermore, she's shameless to display her ass in such provocative attire. Well, if Ada That's didn't awful. already hold title as Queen of the Whores, Marigold would have it in a trice. Just Interesting. Awful. Thanks. Mm. Okay. Know anything about me? Do you recognize me? Anything about me? Sure. The laundresses gossip about you. And? They say you chase anything in a skirt, but you're a real dog for sorceresses. Supposedly, you loved one once. <laughs> they say you're as likely to whip out your sword as you are to whip out your, um, um, yeah, <clears throat> a master at both arts. Women fear your fickleness, but you fascinate them. Hey, women. Hmm. Thanks. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, um, you seem to be quite open. Don't you fear bad-mouthing authorities during martial law? At worst, they'll throw me in the dungeon. I believe we must speak true, even of the ruling class. This is our right. Bold words. Indeed. I have no intention to fear a dictatorship based on the exploitation of common men. I will not cower under the grim repression of oligarchs and aristocrats who have enthroned a wrongdoer, a man whose hands are stained with blood. Uh, okay. You exaggerate. Foltest's rule can't be that unpleasant. Ah, plague upon Foltest. I spit on monarchy, which long has been corrupt. Strange views. The people should rule. Common people like you and me. Hmm. Um, yeah, you're right. You're right. I figured you were a reasonable man, even if a mutant and a pawn. Enough of that already. Hmm. Okay, well, what do you sell? You sell meat. Fair enough. Things were better Hello, Ada. With Nilfgaard. Right. Um, ooh. Frame drops every time we turn and look around this area. 
Oh, it reminds me so much of Jade Empire. In all the wrong ways. Um, okay, so that's for Valdium Bun. Uh, buns and Sons. Uh, okay, there's Merchant's Gate. So we'll just keep going along the edge and uh, kind of exploring this way. So we don't miss anything. Okay, well, I assume there's nothing through here. Wouldn't have mind a drink? Yeah, it's locked. Kind of like I thought it would be, to be honest, but that's fine. Head along this way, so that's Vivaldi and Son. Oh, that's the town hall. Knights well, should we fight can head monsters. in there. Witches are crude. Let's see if anyone's at the town hall. Hello? You playing dice poker? Chimney tax, pole tax, war tax, what else? No. They are playing tax dice poker, but none of them are, you know, names. So they're not going to play it with me. Um, nope, not oh, interesting, not interesting. Hello. Yes? I'm here about the notice. Do you have five cockatrice feathers? No. Not yet. Don't bother me, I'm working. Next. I don't know how to write. Okay. How can I sign the cursed paper? Locked. Okay. Next, please. These are troubled times. Right. Uh, hello, town clerk. Good girls don't get promoted. At least I'm not a seamstress. Okay, none of you are interesting Hold at all. Glues. Hello? Hold Hold glues. No, no. There, no one is interesting and they all talk at once. Locked. Okay, so this is obviously somewhere we go later. Well, because it's not interesting now. Right. I do want to find a dice poker person, but, you know. We, we'll, we'll find him eventually. Right, um, round this way next, I've I think. I've heard you befriended that beautiful okay. sorceress. Uh, just looking to see if we can find anybody who plays dice poker. So this takes us to Vivaldi and Son's bank, like around the back here, we go in. Yeah, sure we can. Hello, anyone interesting here? No? Okay. My own. Bones. He's just not going to speak to me. Ah, well, that's fair enough. Fair enough. Right. Leave the bank alone. So now where do we go? So it's a warehouse adjacent to the bank, which I'm, you know, 100% certain has to be part of a quest. But we'll go and have a look inside it. That's well, it's locked. Cool. So there we go. It's part of a quest. Uh, we go north to the old forge, although that appears to be blocked off. Looking at that. Um. Yeah, let's maybe do that. Let's go up there and then go and have a look for Dandelion's loot. Okay, we'll go north. So it's this way, right? Yeah, it's directly this way. Yeah, that is definitely blocked off. That looks extremely blocked off. Like, you're not getting in here. What about this way? Okay. Hello, nobleman. Oh, you have an alcohol. We'll take that. What brings you here? Uh, keep going this way. What's that? Dwarven spirit. Yeah, we'll grab that. Trunk. A book. Describing the kingdom of Temeria. Nice. And then a door at the back, which takes us where? And it takes us over here. Oh, okay. Let's read our book on Temeria. Uh, okay. By Marco Knopf. Knopf. Temeria, the jewel of the north, has silver lilies on a black background as its emblem. The kingdom, always powerful, has gained even more prominence in recent years under the wise rule of good King Foltest. Redania lies to the north, across the Pontar River, while the mountain ranges can be found to the south and east. One of them is Mahakan, a stronghold of dwarves and gnomes, past um, which lies the lands of Luria and oh, past which the lands of Luria and Edern lie. The capital of Temeria is Vizima, located on the shores of Lake Vizima. Marabor is the city's second largest city. Alright, neat. Uh, where exactly are we? We're here. Okay, so let's go try and find this loot, I guess. The neighborhood Kinda had a look has lost charm since they let the rabble in. Uh, I'm just having a quick nosy. There might be some other places that we might want to go to. There's Triss's house. So we're back at the start. The dangerous one bearing weapons Triss's on your house. Back. None of these are that interesting. Uh, damn, it's hot in this thing. Okay, oh, uh, you let's... Women. Everyone just keeps speaking at once. It's it's way to flood your mind. Okay. Is this an interesting place? 
No, apparently not. Okay, um, head this way. Who's that? Richard, That's guard. Like the old days. Yes, um, I'm looking for the bookseller. There we go, bookseller. Always. We can sell him our new book. Yes. Hello. That's 16 orants. Well Curse worth the time all. it took to find them. Um, so we want to head over here, and there's also a herbalist over here, apparently. Okay. So we'll just kind of follow down. So this is the Zerakinian trader, who was kind of a herbalist d type. Uh, so there's a herbalist, like, That's right here, it says? Where? Oh no, like, along this way? Hmm. Extraordinary. Uh, is he a herbalist? I don't. There's a door. Is this where the herbalist is? Oh, it is. Okay. Um, I'll take the, uh, drink. Uh, we'll leave the pork. No herbalist here, though. In the cellar? No herbalist. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Maybe the herbalist is something that we have to find later. Um, That's locked, okay. Yeah, maybe the herbalist is something we have to find later. Maybe it's related to a quest and that's why it's like marked down. It's meant to be like uh, people had trouble finding it kind of thing, so they just marked it on the map. I don't know. Um, it's up here? No. Must be in this house where the loot is? Yeah, I think so. Hello. Leave my daughter in peace. Um I'm I want nothing from your daughter. I want nothing from your daughter. I don't believe you. Get out of my house, you blooming drifter! Listen, good man. Out! Or I'll kick you out! I'd prefer a peaceful resolution. Shove off. I've heard enough insults. I'll take you with one hand, bastard! Take that! Oh, we have to fight him. Oh, okay. Right. Just dodge the first one. And can we take him in one hit? Not quite, we missed. Right, go for a power hit. I did nothing. Okay. Take a step back, open up the area, and go for him. Keep going for him. Dodge. Keep going. Dodge. And... Oh, that'll do it for him. And we'll just do power to end him. There we go. Couple of hits, and he is down. Nice. Solve that nice and peacefully. I think. Yeah, maybe without the taunting it would have been better. Damn you! Pass then. Just don't beat me anymore. Fair enough. Right, I'm do you have anything I can myself. steal? Oh, that's a little bit dark. Damn you! Pass then. Just don't beat me anymore. Okay, so he doesn't have anything else to tell us. Hello? Damn! Oh, I guess he just says that if you go past a trigger point like the door. Okay. Anyway, let's go upstairs. Hello. Who are you? Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. I apologize for the intrusion. That's alright. I'm terribly bored since Papa caught the troubadour dandelion here. No one sees me. Hmm. Well, that's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. Why didn't he come himself? Perhaps it's just as well. You look promising too. I'm here about the loot. I figured. Somehow he hasn't been singing love songs under my window since Father caught us. By the way, I hope you didn't hurt Papa. Not at all. He'll be fine. Why should I give up the loot? After all, Dandelion won't come to see me anymore. He's like that. If I give it to you, he'll use it to serenade some other... victim. Um... Well, I said that we have to flirt, so... You demonstrate that your character, the beauty of your soul, outshines even your rosy cheeks. You demonstrate that your character, 
The beauty of your soul outshines even your rosy cheeks. <laughs> Don't flatter me. I'm no fool. The poet master humiliated me. He used me like some lewd wench. I want revenge. I want him to feel what I feel now. Um, that's not really possible. I don't know, let's go with that one. Uh, that's not really possible. Then he should bid his loot farewell. Goodbye. Uh, I didn't seem to go very well. Hello? Who oh speak. my? No. Okay. Well, we'll have the loot, which apparently was just in the first place I loot. So, well hidden. Uh, anything else in here? Wardrobe? I'll grab the sod and meat. Okay. There was some other strong alcohol in here, which we we'll maybe get rid of the candy for. There we are. You want oh to speak my. to me? Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Right. So let's leave here and go and speak to Dandelion. Right. Uh, where is he? He's in the inn, isn't he? Which is over here. Perfect. It's in fact the direction I was going. That's even better. I'm not right. playing that. Let's go out of the, the pan into the oven, then in the here, and then turn to our left, and Dandelion should be sitting right there, ready to accept our loot. Weird camera again. Very weird camera. Okay. Gerald. I got your loot. Here's your loot. Great. I owe you one. I need to prepare. When's your performance? After eight at night. Come if you want. Um, if okay. I can. After eight at You're night. Different. Okay. How so, interesting. Um, it's you I speak to, isn't it? Don't be. Oh, and we leveled up. For you. Perfect. Uh, we will do our level up as well at the same time. Nice. Um, so we get two silver talents and three bronze talents. That's great. Okay, um, anything we want in here, the damage up and the armor actually seems really good. The resistance to bleeding seems incredibly good. Uh, in dex, that would increase, well, sorry, in dex, that would increase our attack stat. Uh, we can also get, like, even more attack up. So yeah, it's not worth putting the attack up into strength because we have other things it can go into. Armor might be worth it. it takes, I assume that will take away, like, weak powered attacks. Uh, first level dex might be fine. Stamina gives us more endurance, which is very nice. It also gives us resistances, which is always cool. We go two levels in that, give us a lot more endurance. Mm, okay. Altered metabolism. Uh, only works when poison effect in Geralt is caused by a potion. So if we were to poison ourselves somehow, we can become immune to pain and poison. Could be useful in a certain circ like situation. Don't know which one, but could be useful. If we go in here to get endurance regeneration, we can use our um, magic a lot more. Base sign intensity we could increase as well. We could go into that. Um, the ritual of life, I don't know what that is. Uh, the production of bombs could be useful as well. Clears up a little bit of our inventory. Go next level in R to increase its sign intensity. I don't think we need that right now, but we could. Um... It also, if we have the strong silver style and we use, and we have this level here, it means that we can knock them down with that, which seems interesting. Um, we could also go something like this and try and get to cost of casting sign very quickly. Um, Axie seemed cool when we used it. Not sure if we want to go further into Axie with Hex. Um, probably not, but we'll see. Maybe we want to do that. Uh, Urden doesn't seem useful at all. Strong steel. I don't really want to go into a weapon style. I don't think that's, that's the best way for us to go. Uh, I think I want to go... Pro I think... I think the what the armor for the extra survivability and then the dex one to give us dodge and parry as well. Seems like the best way to go. And then our three bronze is just going to go into bronze things we don't really have. So we already have all of group silver. So of any fast silver, we already have most of the strong silver that we need. Um, group steel we could upgrade a bit for precise hits. We'd also increase the chance of knocking down, but we don't really need that. Group steel don't tend to be very strong. 
Strong steel is one we could maybe go for. Uh, except that we don't have anything worth actually taking there. Um, this would give us pain. Yeah, it give us 20%. We'll take our 20% damage on the fast steel. Um, and then I think we put the rest into fast silver. We can go 25% damage. Like, let's just go double damage. That seems like a very good idea. Okay, cool. And then we want to be after 8. So I assume that means like a little bit after dusk. So like then, probably. That seems reasonable. We can go and watch Dandelion. Okay, so. Yeah. Tell me about it, lady. I am also sleepy. You fight like right, a there we go. Hello, Dandelion. Interesting. Quite the dangerous one bearing weapons on your back. Fighting not or watching. A very impressive. It's not a very impressive song, Dandelion. Start with a warm up. <coughs> what have I achieved? La 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 la. I think it's time to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.